Hello, uh, Ivo Vankenberg. How are you? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Sorry for uh, mispronouncing your last name because you're actually Dutch oh. originally. <laughs> <laughs> you, I'm happy to be with you. Thank you. Thank you for accepting this interview because you've written a wonderful book called The Spirit in Finance that yes. I heard about from Baptiste that read it in yes. Dutch. And I'm very excited to that you can share with us in English some of the wonderful teachings and things that you, you, you have in this book for us that speak English. And hopefully one day your book will be very soon in, in, in the English language. So, be nice. <laughs> yes, yes. So you speak about uh, a lot of people put money and spirit in, in, in two separate entities, but you yes. bring those two together. Can, can you tell us, before giving us more advice on how we can... Yeah. Um, uh, see those two worlds together. Can you tell us how we came, how, how, why we are where we are right now? You called about something called the bark. Oh, the bark. Where there yes. is a separation <laughs> or there is this evolution. Yeah. You, you talk yes. about something like th actually this financial crisis is yeah. an amazing opportunity to open up yeah. to something bigger. Can you yes. tell us about that? Yeah. Yeah. Well, what I feel basically there is only love. Love is all and the rest is illusion. My, my father actually, who just passed away, he's on the other side now, but he wrote a beautiful forward in the, in the book. And he says, love is who we are. Love is all that is and the rest is illusion. And we have started to take the illusion so serious. And uh, the book is, uh, an, 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 is, is meant to be to, to try to heal these separate worlds of spirituality, of love, and the world of illusion. And finance is a lot more than just money. Finance, to me, uh, my definition is it's all about money, but also matter. So everything what we can touch, uh, it, it's the world. And I try to heal those worlds. And I see in the spiritual world, and I generalize a little bit, but I see so many beautiful people who, who love to be in that heart, who love to be a light. But whenever there is money or matter around, uh, somehow we hesitate and we, we pull back. And it, it's, it, 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 it's even that somehow we, 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 we are afraid to lose the connection with God if we touch the money and the matter. Mm -hmm. And I'm also working a lot in the financial world and, and also generalized. It's a little bit the other way around. We keep running running, running, and we make money, money, money. And somehow we forget uh, it, it's about love. When, when I interviewed a an, uh, an CEO of a large bank in Holland, I said, what, what is really, what do you want with your bank? And uh, he said, well, 20% return on investment. I said, yeah, but what do you really want? He said, yeah, 20%. I said, why, why don't you go in drugs? Or why don't you go in prostitution? I mean, what, what I want to say is, of course, we need to make money. We, we need the matter we are in on earth, but it's about love. There must be a deeper meaning. And yeah, this book tries to heal that. And that's why in one side of the book, uh, it's confusing for the bookshops because where to put it, at the management or economy department or at the spirituality department? Mm. Well, my publisher said you should put it at both departments, mm -hmm. <laughs> which I believe too. Uh, but I like to, to mix it, that we don't separate it any longer. Yeah. Yeah. So... So you, you, your dad taught you lean, right? Because I thought he was lean. Yes, lean. yes. <laughs> I thought he was still alive because he he does a wonderful. He actually he forward. just passed away uh, one day after the book presentation. He was very 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 sick for years, and uh, he taught me actually a big lesson through his sickness. He had heavy cancer, um, but he always said, "Ivo, I'm not a body. I'm not a body," and I could see how his body. Uh, yeah, it was nothing at the end. Uh, it, 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 it was nothing, really. But his spirit, uh, his love, uh, was still so clear. I, I get goosebumps when I talk about this. And he, he really told me, he said, Ivo, you know, our souls are internal. We, 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 we travel, we, we just continue, and we take off the body, and we get new bodies. And it's all a big joke. But the soul continues. Mm. And the soul is love, or the heart is love, or whatever you want to call it. And um, my father was actually in the finance world, yeah. uh, but he also went to the conservatory and he played piano. <laughs> so there... It's a great balance, yeah. The, the, yeah, the balance between the two. So in my book, I look at the financial system, uh, how the money world works. Uh, but I also look how, how we can uh, find love in the world, in the middle of that illusion. 
And and both is very important to know. It's important to know what money is, but it's also important to know how to yeah be love in that world. So there are two parts of it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so how can we learn what money is? What is really money? <laughs> it's it's actually nothing. It's one big illusion. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I hope people yeah. start to wake up when they read the, the papers now. Uh, money is really uh, we we create or we the banks create money out of nothing. You know, if 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 we uh, bring thousand euro and we put it on a saving account of a bank, we give the bank the the permission to create another nine thousand euro out of nothing. So whenever we save some money, the bank can create more and more money out of nothing. And out of that money, what was created out of nothing, we ask interest, or the banks ask interest. And in that way, the whole system of creating money out of nothing and asking interest yeah, over air <laughs> creates a society that uh, there is never enough. There's always a shortage. There are always people dying. There, whenever we want to help somebody, whenever we have a brilliant idea, yeah, we have no money. That, that's it's to this Bernard Litar, a big money specialist from Belgium. He mentioned once. He said the present financial system gets the worst part of the human being on the surface. And in my book, I try to re reverse that and say, let's create. Uh, we created money ourselves. So why not create? A, a new system where we get the best part of people up and that's possible how <laughs> well actually it's not so difficult it's uh, uh, there are two main parts which we really really should change that is first of all we should never create money out of nothing anymore you know in the past um, what do you mean by create money from nothing well now it, yeah, it's hard to explain if you for the first time hear this maybe in your life, but if, 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 if you go to the bank and, and you, you buy a home and you want to have a mortgage, and for instance, you want 300,000 euro mortgage for your bank, most of that 300,000 euro you get from the bank doesn't exist. They just put it in a computer. It's, it's, and that's what I mean. Yeah, you, it, it's like the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> you create it out of nothing. And in the past, there was gold behind it. And there was something, eh? the, the, the money started at the goldsmiths. And you had your coins at uh, the goldsmiths and you got a uh, piece of paper. Oh, Ivo, you have thousand coins at the goldsmiths. But the goldsmith said, yeah, not many people collect their money. Like present days, not many people keep it on the bank. So let's, the thousand coins of Ivo, I, I, I said I give it to uh, their Evos, but I'm going to, create a thousand more coins and a thousand more and a thousand more. But he hasn't really got these coins. It's still out of air. Mm -hmm. And if you ask me how to change it, one really big thing is not to create it out of air anymore. And does, that second, start, does that start with us or does that start with the institution? That started around in the 13th uh, century in Italy. The, the name bank is from Banco. Banco is from the Italian word. It's also a working bank uh, of, of the man who kept the gold coins. Mm -hmm. And he, if you would bring thousand coins to this man, he would give you a piece of paper and say, here you have thousand coins. No but problem. Now, but, but now, uh, what I meant is that, is that now the change, does it start with ourselves or, or, or the institutions? Uh, at, well, at the end it starts, no, not at the end, at, sorry, at the beginning it always starts at ourselves. <laughs> but before we get there, I, I like to give you one more yeah. in, the, in, in the system. How to change, we could really stop with asking interest for money. And if you go back in the Jewish tradition, in the Buddhist tradition, in the uh, Christian tradition, in, in many traditions, you will see um, that uh, the interest actually was, was never allowed. In the Roman Catholic it was a sin. I believe it is still a sin, but you know, I don't believe really in sins, but it is a mistake. And uh, we, 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 yeah, we ask interest, we, we make money something, uh, uh, we, yeah, we want to earn money with money. And money was never supposed for that. It was an, uh, just a way, if you make a beautiful video and I want to honor you, I, I, yeah, we have to make sure that the energy is in balance. And one way I could pay money. I could also make a painting for you or write a story. It should be in balance. But we start to forget about that. And we think, oh, give me money. And I put it on account. I'm going to invest it. And money has become a product. And we really should stop working with interest. 50%, up to 50% of all our costs is, is through the interest. 
if we would have no interest anymore, we could ha work half days. Uh, everything would become cheaper. Um, I know a man from Hawaii, he said the interest is raping Mother Earth. And if we really, really would understand the influence of interest, we would stop today. Mm -hmm. Because if we abolish the interest, then uh, yeah, we get such a human system. And it is possible. There are banks doing it. In Sweden, it's a beautiful bank. Hardly anyone knows. But in Sweden, there is the Yuck Bank. And they don't ask. Uh, There's a usury free. It's an interest free bank. And you see how this bank uh, supplies and supports the community in Sweden. It's incredible, beautiful. So, how, how, yeah. how do they make money, for instance, without interest? I mean, we, well, they, I know they we they have to purify our all, all, all ways of seeing things, but. Yeah, we come there in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> well, they make money because they, uh, they, they charge an, an, a fee for their service. Like if you write an article, you might also charge a fee for your service. They charge a fee for supporting the community in a money system. But that, and that is good. Everybody can have a fee. But that is completely different than charging interest over interest over interest. And then the money is not even existing. So we ask interest over something that doesn't even exist. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, there, there is a, if you go to YouTube, there is a wonderful movie called uh, Money as Debt. Money as Debt. Mm -hmm. And I can really recommend everybody who want to understand. And, and the first time when you hear the story, you think, well, Ivo, you must be crazy. Or, but really, start to understand that it is all illusion. Uh, that, that's the hard side of the book. That's, and then we come to the personal side. It's maybe even the best part. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, so how, do we, how, how do we open up? How do we remove those layers of, yeah, that is, of that heritage, is, of... of, of of, of yeah of heritage because we ha inherit it from from our parents from the way of seeing things how do yes. we purify all this yes yes i well one of the highlights in the book uh, is an interview with ihaliakala yulen he is uh, an Ho'oponopono master. I don't know whether you ever hear about Ho'oponopono. Yes, yes, yes. yes <laughs> well, we it's do. good. Yeah, in Hawaiian uh, philosophy. Yes, but this is an, uh, an, 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 an adjusted version, and it's a, it's a problem-solving version. And I really love this man, and I love his philosophy, not because he's saying it, because I experience it myself, how it works. And the first... Thing which is very it's difficult for our minds what I'm gonna say now it's very very difficult but he always says do you realize when you have a problem whatever in your relationship with money do you realize when you have a problem you're always there mm -hmm. so the first thing is to realize that whenever we have a problem we should stop looking outside and say, oh, yeah, but Lilou, or no, our government, Sarkozy, or no, our, I don't know, my mother or my partner is the problem, or the money is the problem. Mm -hmm. We start, should start to realize that, in a way, there is nothing outside ourselves. And this, this is very difficult for our mind, because we love to... Yeah, it, it cannot be happen that I'm responsible. I need to find somebody who is responsible for my problem. And here, Yakala is very consequent in this. And he says, yeah, please take the responsibility yourself. Be 100% responsible. And he teaches in this book and in many books and his workshops how everything is actually a repeating memory in ourself. Uh, if we go to the secret, that book, or the law of attraction, uh, there are some wonderful lessons about uh, how we can work with our mind, how we can think positive, how we can attract things. Uh, you see that in the Ho'oponopono, we go deeper because we just, uh, most of the information is in our subconsciousness. Mm -hmm. So we think here, up here, we know all, but we hardly know anything. Even now in, in scientific world, in the psychology world, there are many universities who discovered that um, uh, uh, there are about 11 billion bits per second on information. Can you imagine? Every second, we get 11 billion bits of information uh, i hear your voice i see you i smell here the room 11 billion and we make programs in our business world and in our life to control that information but it's already scientific proof now that from the 11 billion we are only aware here 30 40 50 30 so one of every billion it's it's nothing we, we are aware of nothing most of all the information in the universe is going on in our subconsciousness mm -hmm. 
And if you would believe in past lives and, and whatever, you don't need to for me. But if you, you can imagine, even if you believe just in this life, how much information we collect in this subconsciousness of us. Mm -hmm. And that information needs to be cleaned, needs to be uh, yeah, cleaned, as, as Yalakala calls it. And there is another tradition, actually, the Course of Miracles. I don't know whether you are familiar with that. And I, I, I see that that is so familiar to the Ho'oponopono. It's, it's the same. It's, we have to clean that information of our subconsciousness. And now you're probably going to ask me how to do that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, then again, uh, it's not difficult. But it's so simple that, first of all, we don't believe it, most of us. And uh, if we start to believe it, we think, yeah, well, is this, is this really something we need to do all the time? I believe we do. You want to hear the simple answer on this, yeah. how we can clean the information inside ourselves? So each time, <laughs> so, so what's the premise? Each time we're confronted to an old thought or an old pattern or a... Uh, scarcity well, thoughts, we, we apply this formula? I, I would even say in each situation, because we don't Whatever know. Whatever it is, yeah. We don't know whether the situation is good or bad. The, I mean, we, we uh, stop judging. Well, it's a very common spiritual law, but uh, it's so difficult for me, by the way, uh, too. Uh, but it, if you really are honest, how do we know? We, we, you wrote this beautiful book, and I still want to read it. I just got to know about it. But the title I loved so much, I lost my job, and I liked it. <laughs> well, that is what I call holistic thinking. That is thinking uh, integral. You look at a bigger picture. But how many people would say, I lost my job? Oh, phew bad and i lost my father bad and why i love your book the title you you, you start to think holistic and not judging mm -hmm. and that is a basic thing start not to judge so whenever we have something we lose our job or i don't know i meet a beautiful woman or a beautiful man i don't know whether it's good or not uh only God knows. <laughs> mm, there's always I don't know. two. You're trying to say there's always two sides, and you have to, even though if it appears good, you have to open up to the the, the, the fullness of it, the full spectrum. Yes, we don't know whether information is so so called good for us or bad for us. I, I don't want to go there. I, I want to do what what Rumi, the beautiful poet, said: is go beyond uh, good or bad, and and find a spot where we meet each other. Mm. And that's on your answer, when should we clean? I, I would say always, whether I'm, I'm uh, talking to you, uh, I, I'm doing it. But also, um, whenever, I keep doing it. But so, we still didn't. So you're, talking, didn't. so you're talking about cleaning. So how? I, I, yeah, in, in the whole Ponopono, we uh, they, they call it cleaning. In the Course of Miracles, they call it uh, forgiveness. Uh, there, there are many ways, but it is actually to. I like the word cleaning to but make. But what it. is what is the <laughs> essence of that? What is actually essence happening? Is, the essence is to love or to forgive, whatever. Uh, each moment and each person and each problem and each circumstance in your life. And when I talk about love, uh, yeah, that's already difficult for many people because we love, if I meet you, I love it. But when I meet somebody who wants to punch me in the nose, I don't love it. Well, what I'm talking is that to love you, but also to love the man or the woman who wants to punch, punch me in my nose. <laughs> it's, it's about unconditional love. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's, Ihaliakala said it's very easy. You just say, I love you. Uh, to every body, to every circumstances. And uh, in the Course of Miracles, they, they, they talk a lot about forgiveness. And when I talk about forgiveness, I don't say that if uh, I need to forgive you, that I say, oh, Lilu, I know you did something wrong and I'm, I'm a little bit better and I forgive you. That is not the way of forgiveness I'm talking about. I'm talking about a, a new way of forgiveness where... Where I really experienced that you never could have attacked me. You never could have done something wrong to me. It's information inside myself what I have to clean. And when I forgive myself for that information, something will solve. And yeah, you can read books about it, uh, but this you really have to experience. So I, I can recommend everybody who have problems in their life, just, just start to love them. And what, what can you lose? What can you lose? Just by loving your problem, embracing them. And I'm, I'm not saying uh, you, yeah, you become apathic and start to do nothing anymore because the, the miracle for me, if you start to love your problems, that uh, suddenly inspiration will come. 
And the inspiration will come uh, out of your heart, w- which I call spirit in my book. Some people call it the voice of your heart. Some people call it uh, God or n- love. Uh, I, I'm not worried about how you call it. I call it spirit. But it also can come from you uh, or from, from the neighbor or from a message in the paper. That inspiration will come. And maybe the main message in my book is um, whenever we are in whatever situation we are, we always have a choice. We can listen uh, to the information from our heart, the divine information, the spirit. Uh, we can also listen to our mind. To, uh, I, I would call it to our ego, to, to, to the voice of our mind. So we all have two advisors in our life. Mm-hmm. And uh, one advisor yeah, is the ego and the other one is the spirit. And it's time, if you ask, I, I watched a lot of interviews of you and I noticed you ask a lot of times how, so I'm going to give you another <laughs> how. <laughs> That's an important question. You like how. to keep it practical, yeah. Yeah, it's good. It's, 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 it's good. So another one, how, if, if, if you have a problem or you don't know what to say in this interview or you uh, need to write, you have no inspiration or whatever, you can literally... Stick on your heart. Knock on your heart. That's what I do. Oh, the camera is not good, but I knock on my heart right now. (laughs) And ask spirit or love or your higher self, uh, whatever you would call it. So what to do now instead of finding the problem yourself? Mm -hmm. Often we want to solve the problems with our ego, with our personality. Mm -hmm. I know how to solve this. Why don't we say a bit more often in life we don't know? I don't know. I don't know how to solve this, but uh, one would say Father, another would say Holy Spirit, another would say love or uh, whatever is the highest for you in life or in the universe. Just don't do it yourself anymore. It's so important. Walk with your spirit and ask for support. That That is, I don't know how to be more practical. Yeah, Just yeah, yeah. No, try no, it's, it. <laughs> it's very, it's very, uh, very practical. The only thing Good. I want to go back to, because I'm not exactly clear on the detail, is when we want to cancel or, or cleanse, as you say, yes. an event or something related to money or something else, whatever yeah. happens in life. Is that just on an individual level or is that for the world? And what is the process? It's. Do you it, say, it, I mean, what do you say, actually? What do you I, say? I just say, I'm sorry, uh, please forgive me. I love you. Thank you. These are okay. four cleaning tools. You can just say I love you or I thank you. or it, there, there are many. There are thousands of cleaning tools. But I, I just mentioned it in a few, a few very common ones. I love you. Uh, please forgive me. I'm sorry. And you just say it to yourself. To yourself. Because you, you can say it to the other one too. Mm-hmm. But yeah, to be really honest, there is nobody outside yourself. But that is a so very really different... No- resistance to whatever is happening just love it and and forgive yourself for all what's going on inside yourself that is so nice about uh, this idea that whenever you have a problem ask yourself the question what's going on inside of me that I'm experiencing this problem instead of how we're gonna fix Lilu or how we're gonna fix the government or how we're gonna fix whatever, my partner or my child who is uh, screaming all the time. No, 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 if my child is screaming all the time, just ask yourself, what's going on into me? I'm, I'm a father now, one and a half year, I love it. And well, everybody who have children must know that it, it's such a big mirror. Mm. I mean, if, if I'm restless, if I'm frustrated, my child is frustrated. Mm-hmm. And if I start to, to clean myself and, and be in harmony with myself, my child is in harmony. Mm-hmm. And the child is, is just a big metaphor because it works with you. It works with all the people I meet. And it's easy with you because we like each other. Uh, although I like you, I feel so <laughs> for both sides. Mm-hmm. But um, it's going to be difficult if one man tries to steal my money or uh, steal my bike. That, yeah. Then, but. Then, then I would like to especially also wake up the spiritual people. Uh, please make no difference anymore. Stop judgment. I, I, I read so much uh, judgment on the governments in America or on uh, the terrible banks uh, who, who make all this happen. Please, I would love to change the financial system as well. I give ideas for that. I promote these ideas. But I also love the bankers. It's so important to love our presidents, to love our neighbors, to, like Jesus said, to love our enemies. Uh, 
-hmm. And maybe our enemies are our problems. Uh, so let, let's start to love our problems. And the process is simple. You do it with yourself. Mm -hmm. And if you don't believe it's me only, well, I feel you can also do it with yourself. Don't say, I, I forgive you, Lily, or I love you, Lily. It's okay. But start to, to say, just I love you, and, and, and to feel that. It's very important, yeah. Is that, so is that a way for, for people that are spiritual or want to give, give, give to, 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 br to bring that money and be compensated? Because as we said, there is a separation. So is that because we create that separation? And yes. If you start to welcome that, then... Yes. If, if I will not promise you and anybody that if you start to do this, that you have no problems anymore. I promise not. <laughs> But what I can promise, and I experience in my own life, you don't experience it as a problem anymore. You get the difference? Mm -hmm. So as long as we're on earth, we will have problems. We solve one problem and I think, oh, finally gone. And next day or next hour, or next minute, the other problem is coming up. But if we do this work of really embracing each moment, uh, it, it's one step further than, than like Eckhart Tolle. He's so beautiful how he teaches you how to be in the now. Mm. It's so beautiful. You could say that Ihariakala, you land in Ho'oponopono and the Chorus of Miracles. Just go one step further and... And, and whatever is in the now, not just accepting, but love it, embrace it, or forgive yourself. And if you do that, then maybe there are still problems, but you don't feel uh, about them as problems. And yes, the, the money will flow, or if the money doesn't flow, it's okay too. Mm -hmm. it's, 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 it's a kind of lesson you start to dance between joy and pain. So from, you know, that, the, from that point of view, the, the, the function of money becomes what? Money, uh, yeah, well, what is money is nothing in, in economic terms, but money in spiritual terms is also nothing. It's, well, I would say it's energy. It's, 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 if, if, say, say money can be like love. So um, if, if we are in harmony with ourselves and we clean the information inside, you will see that money is going to find its own way too. It's, 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 because if, if I am cleaning, if I am uh, loving, the more I fall in love with myself, that's practical, mm -hmm. the more other people become free and the more I fall in love with other people. You know, it's, it's, so it's not from a selfish point of view to love yourself. I hope we, we are over that point. It's, mm -hmm. if, if I'm talking about loving my higher self, my higher self is the same as your higher self because our higher selves are one. At the end, there is only one. It's love. There is no difference anymore between you and me. That's what we have to clean inside ourselves. That I think, oh, Lilu is a different woman. I, yeah, she's different. I have to be careful a little bit. No, our higher self is, is one. Mm -hmm. And it's time we start to discover that. If, that your pain is my pain. And that your happiness is my happiness. And uh, yeah, that, that's, that's doing basically by saying, I love you, I'm sorry, please forgive me. Mm -hmm. it's, it's too simple, I know. But I would ask the listeners or the viewers, just, just try it. Just mm. try it. Experience it yourself. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah, and then you can start listening to the, to the voice of the heart. Yes, yes. And, and the spirit or the Holy Spirit or the love, the voice of your heart, whatever you will call it, will give you information through yourself or Signs through whoever. Or Signs or whatever, yeah, yeah, yeah. But we have to keep cleaning. We have to keep working on ourselves, and then new ideas will come. Because the, I don't know whether you know, but this financial crisis we are in now uh, is nearly number hundred in 25 years' time. So somehow we keep thinking and thinking and doing in the same way. And what I'm talking about, let's really start thinking in, an, in a completely new way. Well, that new way is to start to love everybody and everything. Oh, yeah, Ivo, but that, ooh, but then, then our ego and then our personality maybe have to give up a little bit. Yes. And by the way, the, the first step, what I discover in all my trainings, which I do in the financial world, is that before you, you can hear the, it's, it's my experience, I don't know what's true, but it's what I feel. Uh, before you really can experience that spirit, that voice, it's important you become authentic. And I, I think I don't exaggerate that 80% of the people I meet in my workshops are not authentic. They, they still think, yeah. What will my mother think about this of my father or my partner or my boss? So or how do you I, define uh, authenticity? Authenticity is, I would say, is that you are really your personality. 
I'm not talking about the higher self, about the divinity yet. I'm, I'm thinking about Ivo Falkenberg or Lilu. Be completely how yourself, yourself. So whatever you feel, whatever you think, uh, whatever you speak, whatever you do is on one line. And if I go and have a presentation for 100 bankers, they all say, Ivo, yeah, yeah, deep, deep in my heart. Yeah, <laughs> this is also what we would like to do. But I have no career or maybe they send me out. I lose my job. And well, when you become authentic, you stand up. And that's maybe the second part of my book, the second message of my book. I, I really call on everybody, whether you are a journalist uh, uh, or an, an, an interviewer like you, or whether you are a writer or you are in, the, in general in the army, or you're a butcher or whatever you are, I feel if we uh, really stand up in love and in authenticity in whatever we do, that will be already such a, such a big step. So don't think of what other people will think about you. Um, uh, or what up? Or, or don't think that I am what I do. Or it, it just be 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 yourself. And if you are be yourself, and you start really to love yourself, how you are. I don't say you are then a, a good or a bad person. Just without judgment. Then then you have the foundation. Mm. And if you then then the next step is really to uh, to ask the spirit come through me. And then you become a channel. Then you become an instrument of 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 the of the spirit. Mm. And that is difficult because, and also for me, I'm not ready. I'm only a, a beginner student um, because whenever the more the spirit, uh, the more God, if, and, and God for me is, is not a man with a beard. It's, it's, it's away from all the dogmas. But the more the spirit is going to work for you, the less space for your ego. So your, your ego wants everything with you except that you really become happy. Uh, but the ego is very strong. Uh, so that that is an yeah a learning process, but it's a wonderful process, and mm. you get a lot of support. <laughs> Am so, I talking too much, Lilu? No, <laughs> never. No, no. It's very, very interesting. Let's continue just a Good. little bit. You um, it, so in the morning, what do you do? You wake up, and what happens then? Do you condition yourself? Oh, do you do a prayer? That is very, or you just start? very. Oh, very personal. When I, 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 I don't know when, uh, even before I wake up, I sort of feel I'm half awake <laughs> and I start to thank for the new day and I start to bless uh, all the people, the plants, the animals, the birds. And it's sort of, I don't know, it's, it's automatically. I, I start, I, I, when I walk out of the bed, I uh, go outside and bless all the trees and I think, I basically think for the day. And uh, I, of course, I kiss my wife and my son will jump on me <laughs> yeah. and after I shower but that's up to me everybody will have his own rhythm but after I shower uh, I will always uh, have a, a short meditation uh, I'm not a big meditator to be honest uh, maybe in past life but not in this life anymore but I, I always will meditate and maybe even five or ten minutes in the morning uh, and uh, basically what I do is uh, offer myself and ask the spirit, please take it over because I'm so clumsy. I know nothing. I have no idea what to tell you. So please, spirit, tell me what to tell to Lilu. Today was very important for, for you and, and for the next meeting I have. Please uh, inspire me. I get goosebumps now. Because I, I, I don't know. I don't know what. I'm really dumb. And I, I ask the spirit. And um, maybe that is the dream in my life, hopefully one day, uh, to really become a spirit. And, uh, and and to become one with that spirit and that I'm not in between anymore and say, oh, yeah, but here, you know, I want to go right. I know it feels better than left, but I go right. Well, it's free choice. We can do, and I do it every day, 20 times. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, that is my prayer just to offer. I don't ask. I don't, I hardly ask for specific situations. I don't know what is good. Mm -hmm. I just try to be that channel and that I be love, can be love in whatever mm -hmm. situation. Um, and then I start working, but I keep, to be honest, I'm very free today to you, <laughs> to be honest. Good. Thank you I, I for keep, sharing those tools. <laughs> no, it's very precious. I, I keep praying, to be honest, the whole day, uh, even uh, sometimes in between here now. Uh, uh, some, yeah, just may I be love. I love you. Please forgive me. It's it's a continuous process, mm. and and of course. Uh, Sometimes you are so much in a flow, you don't do it anymore. But it's, it keeps me back on the track. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Wonderful. Would you have a last little message or something that you want to share with us? Or <sighs> Just fall in love with yourself. <laughs> and when you fall in love with yourself, the more you do, you fall in love with all the people, all the plants, all the birds. And, and it's so powerful if we start to love all the situations around us. Uh, and it is even more powerful if we start to realize that, you know, isn't that the, the ultimate freedom? We all want freedom. Mm -hmm. Everybody wants freedom. How to be free if I'm depending on the president of the United States of America? How to be free if I'm depending on the, the, the mood of my wife today, which, which is actually a very good one always, but in general. <laughs> how, how, how to... And if you realize that that is not real freedom, if we feel, yeah, but then the first the money system has to be changed or first Lilu has to be this. No, no, no. If we start to realize that it's in us and that we just have to ask that question, what's going on inside me and, and forgive that information or yeah, love that information, then that's up, ultimate freedom that, 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 that actually... Yeah, I, I can take responsibility for this. I don't need you. Of course, it helps a lot because <laughs> a lot of the times I forget to love. And if you start to do this too, and a lot of people, it helps a lot. But basically, basically, I don't need anybody. I only need myself. And then the new inspiration will come, not just in me, but also in you. It's like with my child. If I'm in harmony, my child is happy. But it's not just my child. It's you. It's the people in the political world, in the business world, the banks. Uh, the bank. If I'm completely, if I would completely in peace with myself, I'm sure the banker's world will get new ideas too. And if we would discover the power, we are not just Evo or Lilu. We are spiritual beings. We are, yeah, we are so, um, well, maybe not our personality so powerful, but if we let the spirit working through us, we can move mountains. <laughs> thank you, Ivo. Thank you very much for taking well, the thank time you. to share. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much, Lilu. It and was all, great. I'm, and I'm very, very grateful for what you do because you inspire people and uh, you do it in such a beautiful way. So thank you so much. Yeah.